Hey guys, welcome back to the makeup chair. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this eye look in a lot of detail. You can definitely adapt this for whatever works with your skin tone, your outfit, just change certain steps and I talk about that throughout the entire video. So I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started. So a little trick that I like to do is actually apply a mixture of concealer and primer all over the lid and then right up towards the brows and then fill in just the bottom part of the brows. I'm going to be using a Rimmel concealer and a Wet n Wild primer. So you want to go right underneath the brows as close as you can and also right down across the lid as well. For filling in the brows, I'm going to be using this palette, which is by Absolute New York, with my favorite brush by Blank Canvas, which is the EO6. So brows are really personal, but my preference is to have it darker on the outer edge and then lighter on the inner corner. So this is going to be a neutral eye makeup look, but there's different variations within neutral palettes. So you just want to make sure that it works with your undertone, the outfit that you're wearing, your lipstick and your blush. You want to make sure they all work really well together. But to start with, you want to apply a neutral base all over the lid. This is for two reasons. One, it will set what we've already applied and two, it will give us something to blend with. So it will be powder on top of powder, powder over powder, blend blends really well rather than powder over cream, which doesn't. So taking the F13, I'm going to apply the matte eyeshadow from this palette all over the lid. And you don't have to be too precise about it, just whack it all over. Taking that flat brush from earlier, which is the EO4, we're going to apply a mixture of this base shade and then a little bit of the pink highlighter. And we're just going to apply this right underneath the brows. The reason I went for the pink highlighter is because this look is going to be slightly more pink toned. But if you're going for that golden look, choose the golden highlighter instead. Taking the E01, I'm going to apply that warm mid-tone right on this outer corner, wiggle it around a little bit, and then blend it back and forth. So you want to bring this up a little bit higher than your lid. When your eyes are open, they should slightly peek above it. And that's why it's a good idea just to start in the outer corner and then open your eyes and bring it back and forth. And I haven't picked up any more product. I'm still working what I've already applied. And you don't want to blend this up too high, like the halfway point between your lid and your brow bone, that's where you want to apply it. And I'm keeping the handle quite low, just like this, so it's kind of going upwards. But now we're going to change positions because what we're going to do is we're going to mix up a little bit of this color and that base shade that we've already applied and you're going to tilt your hand upwards and just work into the crease again. And what this will do is create a softer finish. And I'm slightly pulling this out on the outer edge. You're better off having a little bit hanging over the edge so when you clean up you'll get a nice sharp line. But you really want to keep your eyeshadows within this point. So corner of the nose, corner of the eye, corner of the brow. But don't worry about it because we will be cleaning it up in a second. And you can just see the shape that we've created. We've kind of left this inner corner here free and we're focused mostly on this outer corner and then up into the crease. Now this is as far as we want to blend any eyeshadow. We're working down, remember? So this is our baseline. Don't go past this baseline. So our next eyeshadow is going to be a black or any of the darker eyeshadows that you want to use. You're going to apply this with a small pencil brush like this. And we're going to apply this really deep into this outer corner and into the crease, holding it in the center of the brush to give us lots of control. We want to be very careful with black eyeshadow. Put your index finger on this part here and then softly blend it. So I had my eyes closed for most of that, but I had my other eye open and I kind of wiggled it just on this outer third. And then I'm going to open my eye and then bring it slightly more into the crease to just about the halfway point of the eye. So we have our nice kind of C shape almost on this outer edge. And then we're just going to blend it into the crease a little bit more. There's nothing on this brush, but this is what we use to apply this eyeshadow, bringing it all the way over to the inner corner. And this won't bring all of that black over there. It will just give us a hint of color because we're not applying, we're blending. That's the few things that you have to remember. How you're holding the brush, how high you're holding the brush, and the fact that you're applying versus blending. Taking a flat brush and a dark pink eyeshadow, we're going to apply this on the outer third and slightly over that black. I'm holding it right in the center. I've got my index finger on the top of the brush and I'm going to pat this over the top of that black. And this will add a little bit more tone to this look and we're bringing it a little bit further into that inner corner, but really still focusing on the outer half to outer third. I'm gonna switch that blending brush and just soften it out. In the center of the brush, index finger on top, keeping it quite low and just very softly sweeping over the top of it. 
Can you see that this inner corner is nice and clean? The reason for that is because we're going to apply a pigment over the top of it. Now bear in mind, if it's not clean, don't worry about it. Take your flat brush, take a bit more of that concealer and just apply it on that inner corner. The pigment that I'm using is Rose Gold and it's by Wet n Wild, so it's not too expensive. You can wet your brush or dampen your brush, spritz it with a setting spray, but I actually find these pigments work great by themselves, so you don't need to. Keep your index finger on the top of that brush and apply a little bit of pressure and just work it really softly across the lid. Now we have our nice light pigment and we also have our dark eyeshadow, but we need to blend the two of them together. So I'm gonna take a mixture of the pink and the dark pink from this palette, which we already have in the outer corner, and just dab it right in the center. Now I'm gonna go in with my mascara, get in there and do a little wiggle, and this will separate all of the lashes. And then as you pull through, you'll just coat each hair, particularly this inner corner. You really wanna get those individual ones. Don't worry about the lower lashes for a second because we're gonna clean up, apply concealer and all that. And we're going to apply some false eyelashes. I do have my kind of extension underneath, but I'm gonna show you guys how to apply them on top. We're going to apply glue on the lash band, but also slightly underneath. It will kind of adhere to our natural lashes. Wait for this glue to go tacky so it won't be as white. It'll go slightly more blue toned before it goes clear. And look down in the mirror and just press this as close to your natural lash line as possible, pushing slightly downwards. So I'm going back in with the brow kit that I used before, working from the base of the lashes upwards. But because we have that line to go up, we're not going to go past that line and keep it nice and sharp. And then to finish off the eyes, we're gonna work underneath. So there's three ways that you guys can do this and I want you guys to pick whatever one works for you. You can have it clear or you can just use like a flesh tone on the waterline. You can do it with a black, so that's number two. Or you can do a little bit of color to kind of go with whatever eye makeup you're wearing. So this is in the shade bronze. And this sort of just brings the whole look together. I'm gonna take a small detail brush, this is the E07, and apply a little bit of that black really close to the lashes just to start us off. I'm gonna take the purpley tone that we used over the top of the black just to go over the top of the black again. You basically mimic what you did on top underneath and then we're gonna blow everything out using that crease shade and a blending brush. Just kind of squash it down a little bit and then just sweep it underneath the eye. And now I'm going to apply the highlighter shade that we used on the brow bone on this inner corner. And now we can go in with our lower lash mascara. And so that is the finished look. You can swap the pink out for golden tones or bronzy tones, totally up to yourself. And I love when you guys recreate these looks, so definitely tag me in any pictures. And please give this video a thumbs up or hit subscribe if you haven't already. And check out the videos on the screen now that you might have missed. And I will see you guys in my next video really soon.